In this tutorial, I'm going to introduce you to text styles. And Carlson Survey 2009 running on IntelliCAD, you'll find that under the Drawing menu command. Proceed down to Text, and then you'll find Set Style. That will open another dialog box, and there's a number of options that are available to you. Most of them you won't use. But the most important one will be to choose a font. And you have the ability to name your textiles anything you like and then associate a font to that name. So let's do that. Let's press the new command. And I typically will name my textiles the same name as the font or something close to the font so that when I go to change my text style, I'll know exactly what that text style is going to do. So, so I'm going to name this text style Arial Rounded, and you'll see why in just a moment. So we've given it a name. Now let's choose a text font. And the fonts that will be available to you will be very similar to the fonts available to other Windows applications. One of the things to keep in mind here is that you select and use fonts that will be common to other CAD, AutoCAD users. So if you've purchased some specific fonts that you like and you don't have any plans to share your drawings, that will be fine. But if you're going to uh, if there's a possibility that your drawing is going to be viewed by others outside your office or your practice uh, and they may not have the particular font that you're using, uh, you may want to pick something a little more generic. So in our case, I'm going to try and find an Arial font MT Bold. So now this font is associated with this text style name, Arial Rounded. You can also choose, if it's available to you, bold or italic. Some of the fonts have that ability. Uh, I never change the language. And if you want to or are accustomed to um, using a text style at a specific height, or you can create text styles that are set to a specific height, you'd enter it here. I don't, I don't like to do that uh, because I might want to use that text style at varying heights. So if you leave it set to zero, it will prompt you for a text height each time. The width factor will be the spacing of the um, of the font itself of each letter within the textile. One is the way it was originally created. If you wanted it to be wider, you would put a number larger than one. 1 1.5 would make the text 50% wider than it normally would be. I usually will leave that set to one as well. Oblique angle will be the slant of the text, and you can experiment with this. I find a 10 degree slant sometimes enhances the look of a text. Again, this is entirely up to you. You can, and I've never used these features, print the text backwards. There might be occasion where if you're creating a drawing that's going to be used in an NC application. I can't think of a civil application at the moment, but if you were doing a machine part that was going to be a die and it needed a reverse image, this is how you do that. You can also print the text upside down. Again, those are features that uh, I can't say I've used in at least the last decade. So we've created our new textile if we leave this textile highlighted, it will become the current textile so that when we go to use text, this is the textile that will be used. If you wanted to change the textile, 
you would select this down arrow and pick the text style that you wanted to be current. Now you'll notice before we left that text style we hadn't saved it so the first thing it asked us is do you want to save it and we do. So we've created a text style now let's go and use it. So let's say OK. Let's use standard text or dtext at the command line. I'll come back and find that in the menu. Standard text. It wants to know where, where we want to start. I want a text height of 1.5. I want it I didn't I don't want any angle to the text so I'll take the default and then I begin typing and you can see it used the Arial font that is now the current text style it placed it at a slight angle when I set it up I set it up with a 10 degree angle and it allowed me to choose the text type when I invoked the text command. If we want to change the text style we go back to the drawing menu text and we'll open up the text style dialog again We'll select a different text style, say OK, and now let's come back and put in some more text, and you'll see that it's clearly different. Text styles are just that easy. And again, the word of caution here would be that you associate fonts that you know will be available to others if you're going to share your drawings. So if you pick fonts that came loaded with your CAD package, uh, chances are those will also be available to others.